Hey, this is a GoPro Hero 4 vlogging setup audio test, as requested by Jamie Hang, aspiring filmmaker, check out his channel, and thank you Jamie for this idea. I'm gonna test the internal audio, and then I'm gonna test the Texta SGC 698 versus the Rode Video Micro on a hilltop, so let's go. So what you're listening to right now is actually the GoPro Hero 4 internal audio. And it's considerably better than you would expect from a camera of such a small form factor. This is the GoPro internal audio and some wind. It's really not a lot of wind and you should hear some distortion because I believe the wind is strong enough for that. But definitely it should be a worse result than using any of the external mics. I'm gonna go further back now, twice selfie distance away. Should still be a pretty good result, but then again, I'm testing this because you guys are interested in vlogging. Now this is the Texta SGC 698 at selfie distance. This little mic is quite a powerhouse because it does come with a built-in preamp, so you have the choice to set it to minus 10 decibels, zero decibels, which is what you're hearing right now, and a plus 20 decibel pre-gain. I really opt for using the zero decibel setting and later normalizing the audio in post-production. I'm not gonna go to twice selfie distance with a zero decibel setting. My voice should be considerably lower, not as loud, but I would still refrain from using the plus 20 decibel setting. Although it's not as loud as you want it to be later on, right now, I would really recommend to normalizing this audio in post-production later on. All right, this is a texter, selfie distance, zero decibel setting, and a little wind. It's really not a lot of wind, so it shouldn't run into problems. This right now is 20 decibels and I found that it does still do a pretty good job in picking up your voice because it is a directional mic but it also picks up a lot of surround sounds. Now if you're in a situation where surround sound enhances your scene that's actually pretty cool. Twice selfie distance so maybe if you're that far away from the camera plus 20 decibels will give you an edge will make your voice louder and clearer but also a lot of other sounds come in. So much for the Techstar mic. It is a pretty cool mic and I like it very much especially because it's just 40 bucks and it does have a pretty good audio quality but let's check out how the Rode Video Micro performs. Now before I go into testing the Rode Video Micro one problem we have to address before that. If you put the Rode Video Micro on the GoPro cage and you do need a wind muff unfortunately it shows up on screen. We have to come up with a little quick solution to fix this. All we're really doing is putting this adapter in between the GoPro and the mic which just makes it sit higher. My whole goal with this setup was to keep it as compact as possible and this kind of defeats the purpose. Then again this is aesthetic preference and if you don't in mind this is a good way to get the microphone muff out of the way so this is the Rode Video Micro. I'm about selfie distance away. And I should get through this more quickly than with the Techstar because the Rode Video Micro doesn't have different options in terms of pre-gain. You just plug it in and it works. We're even getting a little wind now, which should be no problem at all. This micro wind muff is just of excellent quality. I mean, wind picks up right now, right this second, and you should not hear distorted sound at all. My voice should still be clear and easily understandable. This is about twice selfie distance now. Still, wind should be no problem at all. My voice should be clearly audible. So I think both choices of microphones are a very good idea. They're both budget microphones and they both do a really good job with the GoPro Hero form. Still, you can use the Taxa without this adapter and its wind muff, which is not as good as the Rode ones and it won't show up on screen. So with the Taxa, the setup will still be a compact setup. So if you liked the video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up. It'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. In any case, as always, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you again soon.